Welcome to 100 Hours, 100 Stars, a non-stop tribute to COVID warriors. अगर आप ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं इस वीडियो के नीचे आपको एक क्यू आर कोड मिलेगा आपको बस उसे स्कैन करना है और क्लिक द लिंक एंड यू कैन डोनेट टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर केयर फंड ये एक ऐसा फंड है विच इज क्रिएटेड फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ नेशनल इमरजेंसी और डिजास्टर्स एंड दैट इंक्लूड्स कोविड 19 Simply click on the link below and it will open up a window जहां पर आप अपनी details दे सकते हैं and you can fill in the amount. Well, that is very easy. But ladies and gentlemen, आज मेरे साथ जो guest है on 100 hours under stars, a non-stop tribute to the COVID warriors is someone um, who literally makes playing squash look so simple and so easy. When was the last time I could say this with so much pride? that i have india's finest squash player with me right now on this wonderful digital carnival saurav goshal welcome to 100 hours 100 stars a non stop tribute to covid warriors kaise hain aap well chal thank you arvind for having me on the show uh, just bolna chahunga you know this is a very difficult time and there are so many people uh, doing such brilliant work for us on the front lines uh, so the pm cares fund is a very good thing every small donation makes a difference you know tiny drops make an ocean so whatever you can do you should always do it acha ye to khair apne easy wali baat bol di maine socha ab squash to bahut difficult game hai usme aap mahir ho hum thoda ek dumb shiraj ke game ke sath aaj ka ye session zara shuru karte hain to sir mere haathon mein kya hai taala ha ji aapko pata hai maine kya kiya taala niche rakh diya yani lockdown kar diya अपने uh but when i talk about your career i would like to start by asking a simple question lockdown ke is mahol mein india ka sabse zabardast squash player apna waqt kaise guzar raha hai jaise sab kar rahe hai kha raha hu acche se kha raha hu um but i think i'm doing trying to like you know maintain physicality as well so doing one one session of exercising as much as i can jitna ho sake uh equipment pe to access nahi hai abhi स्क्वाश कोर्ट पर भी एक्सेस नहीं है तो जितना अपने सीमा में जितना कर पा कर पा रहा हूँ उतना ही कर रहा हूँ अभी और डिफिकल्ट है बहुत दिन हो गए हैं बहुत मिस कर रहा हूँ स्क्वाश खेलना स्पेशली लेकिन अंदर रहना बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है यू नो लाइक इट्स इट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट दैट दिस वन थिंग दैट वी कैन डू टू हेल्प फाइट दिस डिजीज एंड दैट स्टेंग इन साइड सो आई थिंक दैट्स द लीस्ट दैट वी कैन डू एज सिटीजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फॉर गेट द कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट्स अ वेरी यूनिक सिचुएशन फॉर स्पोर्ट्स पीपल ऑल्सो मतलब एक इंटेंसिटी उनको मेंटेन करनी होती है एक रूटीन मेंटेन करना होता है और उसमें कंप्लीट मोमेंटम ब्रेक है सो जब ये कोविड नाइनटीन खत्म होगा नो वेन यू कम बैक हाउ डिफिकल्ट इज इट टू मेंटेन दोज लेवल्स ऑफ इंटेंसिटी एज एन एथलीट आई थिंक इट्स ऑल इन द माइंड यू नो इट्स राइट नाउ वी हैव दिस टाइम टू यू नो स्टॉप पॉज थिंक अबाउट you know all the things that we haven't done or haven't managed to think about in all this time because we're always on the go uh, so you know in the mentality if we can just understand and accept that si- this situation as is then when we come back uh, as long as we can maintain the physicality like i said to a certain extent and keep taking over uh, i think we will find a way uh, to you know come back and probably perform at even greater levels than what we did before the lockdown um sab uh, man par डिपेंडेंट है चल मी समथिंग स्कॉश इज नॉट अ प्ले गेम जो इंडिया में बहुत रेगुलरली खेला जाता है वी ग्रो अप इन अ कंट्री जहां पर क्रिकेट एंड क्रिकेट एंड क्रिकेट इज एवरीथिंग अब थोड़ा बहुत द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स इज आल्सो चेंजिंग आई बिलीव जब आप 13 साल के थे आपको चॉइस करना पड़ा कि क्रिकेट खेलेंगे या फिर स्कॉश uh, खेलेंगे तो स्कॉश के लिए ये प्यार कहां से आपका यू नो आपके दिल में आई यू नो हाउ डिड इट ऑल स्टार्ट द लव ऑफ है यू नो ये डिस्क्राइब करना बहुत ही मुश्किल है क्योंकि जब आपको एक चीज बहुत अच्छी लगती है तो यू आपको पता है कि वो बहुत अच्छी लगती है लेकिन क्यों अच्छी लगती है वो डिस्क्राइब करना बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है तो मैं जैसे आपने कहा तेरह साल तक मैं क्रिकेट भी सीरियसली खेल रहा था और स्क्वाश भी लेकिन 
मुझे एहसास हो रहा था कि जब मैं स्क्वाश कोर्ट में जा रहा हूँ मुझे सबसे ज्यादा खुशी मिल रही है तो उसी उस उसी वजह से मैंने सो, सो, सोचा कि चलो एक पर कॉन्सेंट्रेट करना पड़ेगा अभी क्योंकि क्लास नाइन में जा रहा था तो ऑब्वियसली स्टडीज का भी ध्यान रखना पड़ रहा है सो बिकॉज रोज मुझे स्क्वाश खेलना था मुझे खुशी आ रही थी वो एक दो घंटे जब मैं खेल रहा था इसीलिए मैंने स्क्वाश को चुना क्रिकेट आज भी मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगती है लेकिन आज भी इतने दिन बाद मैं शायद 25 साल हो गए मैं खेल रहा हूँ लेकिन जो एहसास जब मैं अकेले भी स्क्वाश कोर्ट पर रहता हूँ वो एहसास को रेप्लीकेट किसी और चीज में आज तक नहीं हुआ है सो आई थिंक आई मेड द राइट डिसीजन Well, uh, who's your favorite cricketer? If I can ask you, all-time favorite, the master blaster Sachin Tendulkar. Or unki sabse favorite innings jo aapko yaad aati hai. Have you ever met him? Have you have ever had the chance no, to I've, I've meet him? Never met him. I really do want to, but I've never met him. Okay. Uh, so what's what's your favorite memory of watching Sachin Paji? Favorite innings ever. Um, tournament in Sharjah, semi-finals against Australia. Oh we yeah. Didn't win the match, but we needed to get a certain score to get to the final, and it was single-handedly done by him. In my opinion, in One Day Internationals, that's his single best innings ever. वो तो तूफान था शेन वॉन के अगेंस्ट में वो तूफान था वो इनिंग्स. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And I remember when I was little, he was he was obviously opening the innings in all the One Day. So and तब तो T20 cricket था भी नहीं. So One Day में जब वो जब भी वो आउट होते थे सारे टीवी बंद हो जाते थे हो गया खत्म मीनिंग दैट वाज द लेवल ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन दिस वन गाय गोइंग आउट एवरी टाइम यू नो दैट ही हैज टू स्कोर अदरवाइज इंडिया इज लॉस्ट आई मीन देयर आर अदर गुड प्लेयर्स एज़ वेल बट द ऑरा दैट ही हैड विद विद यू नो इट वाज जस्ट अनबिलीवेबल एंड टू कैरी दैट फॉर लाइक मोर देन 20 इयर्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ इज इज अनबिलीवेबल सो यू यू रिप्रेजेंट आवर कंट्री इन स्क्वाश एंड यू नो यू ग्रॉट अस सच ग्रेट ऑनर्स uh i mean reaching the top 10 you're the first indian reaching the quarter finals of a world championship squash mein you exceeded your own expectations aap khud apna level decide kar rahe ho and more and more people in india ab squash ke prati ek interest dikha rahe hain because of what you're doing that is what you always also set out to do ki yaar 130 crore ki hamari population hai hum squash aur tennis aur baaki sare games bhi khel sakte hain so you're leading you know that that charge in uh, the field of squash Have you felt alone when you started this? Because uh, you know, because you said you grew up in the '90s, you went abroad. But uh, squash is a game that needs so much more attention, and in a country like India, squash is not given the kind of attention that it always was. So, how difficult was it? You know, when you started this game, you started this game. Look, it's difficult. Uh, Every, you know, every athlete when he starts playing, it's difficult. बहुत मुश्किलें होती हैं ईच ईच स्पोर्ट के यूनिक डिफिकल्टीज होती हैं um, और ये तो यू नो सबको सबको पार करना पड़ता है लेकिन सबसे ज्यादा जो मुझे लगता है सबसे डिफिकल्ट बात है जो आज भी है इज दैट लाइक यू सेड दैट आई एम द फर्स्ट वन डूइंग समथिंग सो द एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ पीपल अराउंड यू आर नॉट फॉर यू टू बी वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन the expectations of people around you are to become national champion so to exceed you know to think and to have the mentality to think beyond the expectations of everyone around you and to create your own expectations and live and die by them by your own expectations and your own benchmark is is very difficult because no one else is putting you to task everyone else is happy with what you're doing but you know deep down that no this is this is not good enough so today yes i'm 10 in the world but i know this is not good enough because i'm not world champion i'm not world number 1 so, so to to kind of push through the barriers of those limited expectations is 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 the difficult part uh, and then to work towards it is obviously hard but if you don't have those expectations and those dreams in your head in the first place then you're never going to be able to work towards those so i think wohi sabse sabse zyada difficult part rahi hai jab se main chhota tha you know the expectations have changed like before it used to be in the juniors can you do well did well then it went into can you make top 50 in the world made that then it goes into top 30 then it goes into top 20 then once you make top 20 then it say it becomes top 10 today now the expectation is can you make top 8 and then the expectation is going to be can you make top 5 but not directly can you make world number 1 
so you know so so it's always that you are pushing yourself to change the expectations of the others and that is that is difficult to do you know it's very difficult mentally to to have that thing in your head consistently because everything is a consistent thing it doesn't happen overnight doesn't happen in one day you know if i become world number 1 tomorrow or even if i'm 10 in the world uh in this last year it's not because what i've done in the last year jo maine last 20 25 saal se kiya hai wo sab ek saath ho ke aaya hai isliye main top 10 mein main raha hu aur jab main world number 1 bhi hunga wo sab jo maine mehnat ki hai that put at that point in time so going through it through the years one by one through all the lows and the highs that is a difficult part you know uh, in a lot of ways uh, you know you have so many first to your credit you mentioned ki uh, you're the first indian to reach the number one ranking juniors mein and then slowly and steadily now you're working your way towards the top 5 top 3 and this is the final hurdle for you matlab wo number one wale position tak pahunchna in, in the rankings you defeated a former world number one also apne games mein squash is so physically challenging also na jab hum is is game ko khelte hain anyone watching this video how do we pick up this game मतलब हमको पता है कि दीवार में मारना है लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट माई सेल्फ बेसिक लेमन को अगर आप स्कॉश के बारे में पूछेंगे बोलेंगे हाथ चल हाथ में रैकेट है बस ऐसे दीवार पे मारना है उसको मारते चलो बस टू पीपल प्लेइंग दैट सो यू नो हाउ डज इट हाउ डज इट वर्क आउट कैन यू शो अस योर रैकेट सो ओके दैट इज हाउ अ ब्रिलियंट स्कॉश रैकेट लुक्स लाइक या इट्स इट्स सिमिलर टू अ टेनिस रैकेट लेकिन लाइटर है सो दिस वन इज विदाउट द स्ट्रिंग्स एंड विदाउट द ग्रिप इट्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स विथ विथ बोथ इट विल प्रॉबेबली बी शायद एक सौ पचास एक सौ साठ स्मॉल डिफरेंसेज विथ टेनिस टेनिस में ज्यादा शोल्डर और आर्म का यूज किया जाता है स्कॉश में मोर फोर आर्म एंड द रिस्ट सो Funny thing, can you see? I don't know. Can you see both my forearms? Right, I can. So if you see my right forearm is a lot bigger than my left. Okay. So the reason being because I'm a righty, obviously. So I'm playing squash all my life. So the uh-huh. forearm kind of uses it a lot more. So we try to do stuff in the gym to kind of make the left one as big, but. Never happens आप ये भी कहना चाह रहे हैं कि सानी पाजी का ये जो ढाई किलो का हाथ है अगर वो स्कॉश के गेम में आ जाए तो मतलब ओपनेंस के लिए कड़क जवाब हो सकता है हो सकता है क्यों नहीं Okay, since we are all uh, sitting in the, in the house and uh, you know lockdown के इस टाइम पे we are rediscovering ourselves as you rightfully said, uh, some interest in squash. Uh, कुछ ऐसे exercises आप हमको दिखा सकते हो. Let's call this a quarantine challenge from Sorok Bhushal to anyone watching this video. Uh, little uh, you know exercises to get our forearms little strong so how to make good exercises yeah uh, some sets that you could actually show us so with or without a racket i think without a racket is better without the racket yeah because everyone won't have access so i need to get up now <laughs> okay ladies and gentlemen you want to enjoy this India ka sabse finest squash player teaching us how to get our forearms strong is so, so you know so like a lot of the stuff that you know i believe in is that you know you're not always doing something which is focusing just on one muscle you're trying to use you know your core a lot at the same time so that you know the entire body is getting used in some some way so a very simple one um it's probably i mean it's not the easiest can you all see me yes yes yeah so something called a bear plank okay acha main 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 exercise nahi kar raha main aapko supervise kar raha hu theek hai taki main log add kar sakun yeah yeah so, so, so don't get me wrong anyone watching this video yeah as long as i'm only i'm only teaching india's finest squash player how to do a couple of exercises <laughs> <laughs> right so something called a bear plank so get on like four four things like like this okay and you basically just lift your knees wow it looks easy but stay here for a while it's quite hard and to make it harder for normal people this is hard enough if you can stay here for like a minute or so but to make it harder for a minute like lift just one one hand without moving your hips 
just one hand and touch the other shoulder come back down the other hand touch the other shoulder come back down keep doing that for like a minute it's hard work ठीक है सौरभ आप दुनिया को कह सकते हैं कि मैंने जो आपको ट्रेनिंग दी थी वो कितनी अच्छी ट्रेनिंग दी थी अरे वेल आई एम बिकम वर्ल्ड नंबर 1 फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू यू आर गोइंग टू बी क्रेडिटेड वेल या टॉक टू अस थ्रू दिस लवली इनिशिएटिव आल्सो दैट वी आर डूइंग यू नो वी आर शोकेसिंग द पावर ऑफ थ्री थ्री रेडियो स्टेशंस कमिंग टुगेदर फीवर 104 एफएम 94.3 रेडियो 1 एंड रेडियो नशा वी आर कॉलिंग इट 100 आवर्स 100 स्टार्स अ नॉनस्टॉप ट्रिब्यूट टू द कोविड वॉरियर्स आप दुनिया भर में ट्रैवल करते हो you meet a lot of people uh how does this situation come across to you matlab agar main aapse ek line pe puchu ki covid 19 ne aapko kya sikhaya hai be be grateful for whatever little you have that is as simple as it gets yeah matlab isko agar samajh liya it's it's quite simple when you put it you know that simply but once you start understanding it on a deeper level i think yeah. it adds on to a very very different dimension isme isme bahut यू नो नॉर्मल लाइफ में भी हमें ये समझना चाहिए लेकिन बिकॉज हम लोग यू नो एक रेस में है इतने सारे चीज कर रहे हैं डिफिकल्ट है आसान नहीं है लेकिन जब हम ये समझ सकते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि जिंदगी भी आसान हो जाती है क्योंकि आपको सब चीज का परस्पेक्टिव मिलता है यू नो सो आई थिंक दैट्स हेल्पफुल एंड आई थिंक हमें ऑलमोस्ट यू नो दिस टाइम इन द लॉकडाउन ऑलमोस्ट फोर्स कर दिया कि ऐसे ही सोचना चाहिए क्योंकि हमें हम कि, कितने सारे स्टोरीज पढ़ रहे हैं देख रहे हैं यू you नो know, लोगों के पास बेसिक अम्यूनिटीज नहीं है खाने के लिए नहीं है पी, पानी पीने के लिए नहीं है और ऑब्वियसली हम लोग बहुत प्रिवलेज है ऑब्वियसली हमारे लिए डिफिकल्ट है घर में रहना लेकिन देर आर सो मेनी आर द पीपल हु आर स्ट्रगलिंग वे वर्स देन अस सो यू नो लाइक वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम लाइक नॉट नॉट हैविंग इंटरनेट एंड ऑल लाइक you know not being able to go out of the house is a first world problem right now india ka sabse finest squash player jab world championship bhi khelta hai na to bade bade players ko wo dikhata hai ki you know look i am saurav goshal right here lekin apne ghar pe is lockdown mein with your wife i want to ask you the simpler questions who gets to win an argument agar aap dono ke beech argument hota hai then saurav you have to for anyone falling in love or you know about to get married you know how difficult is is or easy uh, marriage life is एंड uh, सबसे अहम सवाल है uh, इस वक्त क्या आप अपने घर पे सारा काम खुद से कर रहे हैं जैसे कि झाड़ू पोछा करना या फिर मॉप करना बिकॉज एवरी वन अक्रॉस द कंट्री इज राइट नाउ डूइंग ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी नेवर थॉट ऑफ डूइंग विद इन आवर ओन हाउस ऑल्सो सो ऐसा आपके साथ हो रहा है घर पे अनफॉर्चुनेटली माई वाइफ इज इट विथ मी कुछ शीज टक इन चैन आई बट वी हैव आर्ग्यूमेंट ओवर द फोन इन टर्म्स ऑफ हुस आई वुड लाइक टू थिंक आई विन लेकिन the wife wins <laughs> and uh, yeah i mean you know like uh, jaise aapne kaha bahut sari cheeze jo humne pehle uh, kiya nahi hai wo abhi kar rahe hain uh, jaise main abhi soch raha tha ki mujhe uh, apne i need to clean my car you know like my car is not been cleaned and um, you know like probably of the next couple of days main wo karne wala hu which i've never done before you either go to a you know like a car wash or you know get someone to clean your car especially in india we are spoiled like that right um, and then just generally you know like you know doing doing your own bed um you know filling water for yourself you know from the the water purifier uh, you know things like that it's it's very simple things but you know all these things adds up and um and aapko pata nahi chalta ki din kab shuru hua hai kab khatam ho ja raha hai true you know you think that you know you have so much time on your hands but honestly like i feel like days are going by really quickly because aapko itne sare kaam karne hain ek din mein ki it's difficult to keep track so so yeah mai to apna radio show shuru karta hu logon ko ye bata kar ke aaj kaun sa din hai aur main ye kehta hu ki main aapko nahi bata raha hu main khud ko yaad dila raha hu ki aaj monday hai tuesday hai wednesday hai thursday hai friday as as today or when ah uh, i forgot i forgot i forgot i have to check my computer screen just to check that out <laughs> but uh, sort of uh, since you uh, you know you spoke about squash and you spoke about the game uh, i like to run through certain memories and and how special it is also for you getting an award from the president of the country you know the top honor for all sports people uh, jab wo mila and uh, you reached apne wo maqam hasil ki you know also winning the bronze medal for india a lot of achievements as i said uh, was there a time when you felt you really arrived you know uh 
the point I want to make is, let's say you saw certain celebs when you were growing up and them coming and telling you, oh, you're Saurabh Gushal, you represent the country. I saw you in this game of squash and I wish you all the best. So was there any fan moment for you when you thought that, wow, I mean, I did not know he also watches squash or she watches squash. So any, any such moment that you want to share with us? I mean, the first time ever, uh, you know, I represented India, like the men's team uh, was in the 2002 Asian Games in uh, Busan, Korea. I was 16 years old, I think, or 17 years old. And I remember, uh, you know, going to the dining hall and uh, in the village, in the Asian Games village. And um, Leander Pace was there. And uh, I'd never met him. Calcutta se hu, so he's, you know, like a big thing in Calcutta. He's a Calcutta boy originally. So, you, you know, when I was big, I heard a lot about him. Obviously, in 1996, the Olympic bronze job, he won a very big achievement. Today, it was also a very big achievement. I think it was one of the biggest moments in Indian sport even today. Um, so, I remember when I met him, like saw him first, and I was like, wow, this is, this is brilliant. And then I remember he came to like, he came and sat with us to like eat. And I was across the table from him. And like he said hello and blah, blah, blah. And I literally just shook my head. Like I didn't say anything. <laughs> For like a couple of minutes, I didn't say anything. Um, I think I think you have these, these moments more when you're younger. I think as you grow older, you have, like I said, more perspective and you kind of, uh, have been in been in that zone a little bit more so I think that moment that was my first moment where um, you know I was starstruck for a little bit and um, I didn't really know what to say you know like I was like what am I going to say to this person like you know I haven't done anything here so I was almost like you know I don't probably I don't even deserve to be on the same table as this guy right now so you know so so that was that was that's my first memory of something where you know I felt like wow this is not necessarily that I've arrived, but wow, like, you know, that I'm here now and I need to do more to be able to stay here almost. You know, uh, you're doing that to the younger kids in the country. And now they're starting to believe that we can play squash in our country. Yes, there can be a squash player from India as well. Uh, you know, when you play uh, abroad, may after, you know, anywhere else, uh, you know, you gone through some very gruesome matches, you know, against a former world number one, who is stretch karta hai. Ki hamesha main sawal karna chata hai, kisi bhi athlete se, uh, wo jo last wala stage rehta hai na, when your body is giving up, aur aapko lagta hai ki aap iske aage nahi ja sakte. It is much like the situation right now with COVID-19, where we feel that we are being defeated at every single minute. But there's something inside us, wo jo inner strength, ya kuch, hum kehde na, that last knockout punch has to come from here. So yeah. how does that come, you know? What is the motivation when you play on, on that court? Where does I think a lot of it comes from preparation. So, when you think how much I've trained, how much I've worked, how much I've been training, how much I've been hitting you in training, so when you, when you get to that point, you're thinking like, you used to punish yourself training ke time pe. Yeah, yeah, you're basically punishing yourself. I mean, most of the sessions that we do, like, you know, when I think of, like, I'm sure, like, when I retire, like, I'm going to look back and think, like, man, what was I doing, doing, doing these things? Like, it's, it's crazy. It's like, it's unbelievable. You know, like, why would I be doing this to myself? Like, how is this enjoyable? Right? But it is enjoyable. Funnily, it is enjoyable. Because if it's not enjoyable, we won't be able to do it for this long. So, you, you know, when you're in that moment, you think that, okay, you know, I did all of that. So I killed myself so many times. So right now I have, you, you can see the finishing line, right? Right. So when you can see the finishing line, you're thinking like, man, after all this, you've put yourself through all of this, you have to have something left in you to push yourself just a little bit more. So it's almost like you're cheating your body into saying that, you know, you have it in you to go more. And like I said before, you know, the mind is so powerful, like... You might be the fittest person, uh, but agar, you know, your mind, if it's not going on, it's not going to happen. But if your mind is going on, so even physically you're absolutely done, you will find a way to, to push through it. So the mind is what takes over, basically. That's the I, think, 
I think we can safely draw a lot of parallels to the current world scenario. A lot of corporate offices around the world, uh, a lot of people, in key business, yeah, enterprises, their challenge, their dreams, you know, all of it is going for a toss. It's all right here. Agar dekhne yeah. nazariya badlega, then even in this situation, you can come out victorious. As you say, the finishing line, you know, think as a sports person, think as uh, an athlete always. So, yeah. uh, you listen to radio, radio, sunna hota hai aapka? Yeah, every time I'm in the car, I listen to the radio. Okay, so only only when you're driving and everything. So, what kind of music do you enjoy? English, you know, uh, old Kishore Kumar ke gaane ya Kumar Shanu. What are the kind of songs that you enjoy? So, you know, I I listen to pretty much all type of music. It all depends on on the mood. Um, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm the nostalgic Bollywood type uh, music like Kishore Kumar type. I I enjoy it, but I wouldn't like. you know like make it a point to listen to it but yeah of course you know i've grown up on like kusha kumar shanu and alka yagnik singing and all of that so of course you know those are those are songs that i would listen to even now like i still listen to bollywood there are still songs there um i listen to a lot of english music as well uh, there are certain artists that i i really really like um, and you know they're top of my list if especially you know if i have some time and um you know i can i can listen to entire albums just just quietly and, and you know that's that's good so i think it's i have a very taste and i i like to think that that's good because i give myself the chance to explore as much as i possibly can so so your favorite uh, kumar shanu songs that you can actually think about mal jo aapko bahut at the top of the mind yaad aa raha hai re you are asking very tough questions yeah <laughs> very easy questions Very easy questions. मैं आपको बताऊँ मेरा stress मैं आपको बताऊँ मेरा stress buster क्या है? Like you know you said music and everything else. So whenever I feel very low or stressed out, I love watching Govinda movies. पता नहीं क्यों मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है. Because it's a complete no brainer और उसको देखने में जितनी मस्ती आती है और कहीं नहीं आती मुझे. True, true. But you know what? I mean I feel like those kind of movies. You know like even like I don't know if you watched Mubaraka. Of course yes. Yeah, so you know, so even that's like the same genre, like Mubha, like all these movies, like man, I feel it's like the funniest when you know you have like one or two of your friends with you, so you know, so that like really elevates the experience to another level. Like I ah, feel like the- alone it's fun, but like with two or three other guys, like it's like brilliant. Bina soche, bina samjhe, apne aap ko entertain karte chalo. But you did not answer my question. Aapka favorite Kumar Shanu ka gana, and uh, let's have a treat for everyone watching this. Uh, you know. कुमार शानू साहब ने भी नहीं कभी सोचा होगा कि मतलब जो दुनिया भर में टॉप टेन प्लेयर्स हैं स्कॉश के उसमें से कोई एक बंदा मेरा गाना कभी गाने वाला है एंड दैट टू फ्रॉम इंडिया सो हियर वी गो दिस इज रॉन्ग दिस इज रॉन्ग आई देखा तो ये जाना सनम प्यार होता है दीवाना सनम हम यहाँ से कहा जाए हम तेरी बाहों में मर जाए हम सौरभ आप ना मुझे बदला ले सकते हो यू नो हाउ नेक्स्ट टाइम जब हम मिलेंगे इस लॉकडाउन के बाद आप मुझे इस कॉस्कोट में लेके जाना एक रैकेट मेरे हाथ में बस थमा देना उसके बाद आपको जितनी मेरे अगेंस्ट में खुन्नस निकाल ली वो निकाल लो पर मुझे बड़ा मजा आया आप से करवा के उस उस से कुछ नहीं होने वाला सौरभ और कहा से शुरू करें बस आई थिंक फर्स्ट चीज है कि कोई स्पोर्ट खेलना बहुत ही अच्छी बात है स्कॉश बिकॉज आई थिंक इट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट गेम्स आउट देर इट्स एन ऑल बॉडी एक्सपीरियंस It's a very very healthy sport. Um, और स्पोर्ट आपको जो स्कूल में नहीं सिखाया जा सकता वो लाइफ के बारे में स्पोर्ट आपको सिखाता है स्पोर्ट एक ऑलमोस्ट जैसे हम लोग लेबोरेटरी एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं ना केमिस्ट्री में कि कंट्रोल सर्कमस्टांस में ये हो रहा है तो कैसे रियल वर्ल्ड में अप्लाई किया जा सकता है स्पोर्ट भी वैसी है तो यू नो स्पोर्ट्स में आप एक कमरे के अंदर एक कंट्रोल्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट में हो जैसे जो आपका बिहेवियर जैसे आप रिएक्ट करते हो सिचुएशंस um, पे वो बहुत ही सिमिलर है जो लाइफ में आपको आ, फेस करना पड़ता है तो अगर आप स्पोर्ट में स्क्वाश कोर्ट में अगर आप ठीक तरह से रिएक्ट कर पाओगे तो यू कैन ट्रेन योर सेल्फ टू बी अ मच बेटर पर्सन इन लाइफ एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट इज द मेन एम टू बी द बेस्ट पर्सन दैट यू कैन बी यू नो सो दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ डू यू स्टार्ट गो टू एनी नाउ डेज ऑब्वियसली ई कॉमर्स इज बिग सो गो टू एनी ई कॉमर्स साइट और 
any of your sports uh, you know neighborhood stores pick up, just get any racket to begin with racket does not matter you do not to begin with you just need a racket and a ball to start um agar aap bacche ho to kafi jagah kolkata mein junior development programs chal rahe hain so you don't have to be a member of a club you can just join uh, as a beginner in the junior development program where you go hafte mein do teen baar to just see you know agar aapko ye game acha lag raha hai ki nahi um and i think that's the best way to start and if you get you know start liking it and you can start getting better then you can think about getting a better racket better shoes uh getting membership in a club but uh, like in anything you know it's like you see you know kids playing in brazil football you know they're playing with like cans you know because they don't have access to a football they're making with playing with the most basic things so i think that's the key you know don't worry about equipment it's just about doing the basic things and enjoying the sport as is so anyone watching this video next time you want to think of playing squash aur aapko lagta hai ki nahi ye hamare country mein there's been uh, squash kaise khela jayega koi train karega koi coach karega uh, can i fulfill my dreams or not just look at this person on the screen he's a good example of someone who can dream and then live the dream as well ladies and gentlemen it gives me immense pleasure to say saurav goshal one of the top 10 players and the finest player in india right now when it comes to squash joining us for 100 hours 100 stars a non stop tribute to covid 19 warriors aapka final message to anyone watching this video sir i think uh, everyone needs to do their bit in this time um, it is a very very difficult time for you for me for everyone in this world so um, the simplest thing that we can do is stay indoors uh, so that we can help our um you know frontline workers do their job the best they can um and, and and support everyone you know yourself your family um you know people who work for you as much as you possibly can you know try and not be negative in your outlook of of anything that happens try and find a positive in it and you know the key is to be positive and have the right mental perception of something to get through this very very difficult time for everyone so so stay positive stay indoors uh, do the necessary precautions wash your hands as much as of, as often as you can and we all going to come out of this seeing light at the end of the tunnel and we're going to celebrate like there's no tomorrow at one point in time i'm sure i really enjoyed you know having this lovely interview with you you know we meet uh, people from different walks of life this is the first time i have had the honor and this opportunity to interview a squash player and uh, i was so very happy sort of ki you know uh, someone you know as legendary as you and you're doing great things for the country and i wish that number one ranking bahut jaldi aaye aur aap hamare station mein aakri sabse pehla interview dein bas ye wada humse kar dijiye hopefully hopefully let's get world number one first i think uh, you know it's a fantastic initiative like you said um, you know like uh, to get so many people together is not easy uh, it's difficult uh, but at this time you know like everyone needs to come together as best they can uh, of course you know like you know we are the stars so to say in this in this time right now but the real stars are the ones who are actually making this is this disease go away and you know helping patients and stuff like that so uh we the stars if we can do a little bit like this to help the real stars out there in the real world then uh, uh anything to do with that an initiative like, like this which is helping through the pm cares fund as well um is is something that is to be really proud of and and i'm sure that is going to go a long way in uh, not just you know like physically helping people but also you know giving people different things to think about and talk about by listening to these interviews which is always very important at this point in time right and uh, so rightfully said uh, we like to end this interview with a small request you can see a qr code at the bottom of the screen uh, ya fir us uh, link ko zara click kare it will take you to the pm care fund where you can make a small donation from your end as well thank you so much saurav goshal for joining us uh, okay. please keep uh, smiling as always and every time you play just note there are 130 crore people watching you and supporting you as always and may the number one ranking be ours brother may the number one ranking be ours yes thank you thank you
Okay, so um, let me start by welcoming you to 100 Hours, 100 Stars. And I'm so excited to have you, one of the leading educationists in our country, join us uh, on the show and join us on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Erica. Thank you. So firstly, I do want all is well with you and the family and you're safe and you're working from home. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, absolutely. Not just working, but double working from home. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> it's like it's, a complete paradigm shift into, I, into the way you're sort of, you know, working at home. And also, like you said, I think our, our work time has kind of doubled. Exactly. And I've been telling my family I need a holiday after this. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes. So let's start with you and let's start with What's been your, your personal experience through all of this? We've been five weeks into a nationwide lockdown. This is unprecedented for an educationist like you and, you know, uh, also ex-sheriff of Mumbai City. What has this been for you? So I must say that when we first started, I really didn't know what I was getting into. But, you know, it was 13th of March that we realized that we are all going to be going into a shutdown sooner or later. And since then, you know, as a child, I've been not child, but even now been very, very fond of roller coasters. And I, I feel today I'm on a roller coaster. I mean, the amount of teaching that's going on right now in my five institutions is unbelievable. So on 13th of March, we got ourselves into a war zone. We put all our faculty into an orientation program. So we have a ISDI, the School of Design. We have ISMI, the School of Management. We have a School of Communication. We have a School of Hospitality. And we have a school, film school, which is, uh, you know, the School of Entertainment Arts. And all these five schools were running perfectly normal when this happened. So on 13th of March, we got into a war zone. We put all the faculty behind into a room and and we just decided if we don't have to come in to work from tomorrow what do we do and and I must say this is the time when you can actually spot leaders and I saw some of the young leaders come up and say we can go online we can do this and we can get on to zoom and we can get on to um, you know all different kinds of platforms and they had trained us 16th March, we went completely online till today. Our design school has had about 100 to 125 sessions a week uh, with their completely doing the ending of semester. They even had the reviews and, and, and now they are starting the the pro uh, professional uh, startup program pro startup so that you know they are ready for the next semester when they come in uh, wow. our our school of management had finished their exams so we we uh, no they had finished their preliminary exams and then some of these were to be done we completed those and we then started our semesters it's been about over 3000 hours of teaching that has gone on to over 2,500 students and not just teaching. It's staff meetings, it's intellectual sessions, it's one-on-one -on -one mentoring for students. I have never felt so close to my students as now. It's like I'm just a foot away from them. They, you know, I'm available, I give times when I'm available on Zoom and people come in. They talk about their experiences, what are they doing at home, how things, and a little later, I'm going to tell you more about how much of school social responsibility they are doing. You know, just like companies have CSR, right. we, have S we have SSR, school social responsibility. And the students have been actually trained to do a lot of, uh, you know, school social responsibility and the amazing kind of 
help to community, service to community that we are doing now. I'll tell you a little bit later about it. Yeah, I'm going to come in and I'm going to ask you a lot more about that. Give us some ideas as well. So this can actually be, you know, a multiplied right across the country. Uh, to my Radio 1 viewer now, to my Radio 1 viewer, uh, we'd like for you to please contribute generously to the Prime Minister Care Fund. If you look down below, you can either scan the QR code or you can click on that link. It'll take you uh, to where you need to go. Please fill in your details and please donate generously. It'll go a long, long way to helping our COVID-19 warriors who are at the front line battling this pandemic. So please get right to it. So back to you, Indu. I mean, you have spoken so much about how it transformed in a couple of like, you know, under a week. Is this the future then of education? Are we looking at the future of education? So, you know, two years back, we set up a studio for online education and we haven't yet even furnished it because I think the need wasn't there so much. We right. didn't know if the students will take, take on to our online education, there was less than 5% of our students who were, you know, testing, uh, testing out some of our online programs or doing some of the international online programs. But to move completely into a 100% online experience has been just amazing. The future, yes, what do you think the future is going to be like? First of all, let, just tell me, let me tell you three things that I could not do on campus Right. Are happening now okay? okay we are different schools we have management we have design we have communication film we have hospitality all these schools have strengths how do we manage i used to always keep thinking how do i get interdisciplinary teaching and learning done right. they would Oh, my teachers would put up their hands and say, oh my gosh, our schedules will go already. If I get some student from design school come in from to attend a management class, a management student for a design school. And I used to say that education has to be interdisciplinary. Today, my management student can sit into a design class. My design student can sit into, he can pick up courses from my management school and we are doing so much interdisciplinary. And the future of education is interdisciplinary. You can't have education which is siloed. For too long, we've had the BA, BCOMs, BSCs, and we just had absolutely siloed. And that used to be my dream. And I think that's one thing that I was able to achieve. A second thing, I had some of my star faculty who are either doing PhD abroad or who have gone in abroad because they, they were doing a fellowship there. Or I had some of, we've got great partnerships with some of the best universities in the world. And those faculty would come here, teach a module and go back. But that right. used to be very, very transitory. They would come in for two weeks, teach and go back. Right. Today, all these faculty are now teaching. We've gone international completely in the true sense. Faculty from abroad are teaching, my own faculty who are elsewhere. I have a young man in, in Russia, another young man in Ecuador, another young man in Seattle, and they are teaching from there. So A, we were interdisciplinary. B, we have now become international. And C, every time I would want my faculty to meet me for a cup of coffee for, right. an, intel for an intellectual discussion. Right. Could, could never find the time <laughs> on campus. <laughs> and when Are they all intellectual, <laughs> oh, you know, anybody, if, if there is something that happened on, uh, RBI comes out with, with some statement. You know, my economics faculty will say, zoom in on this at this time to know more about it. And then there's an intellectual discussion on that. And so all the time we are, uh, Saturdays is a must. When we all meet, we bring the best to, to our Zooms. We're also having not just intellectual discussions, but we are also having parties. So Friday evening is, is always a party party time when we relax and they behave, my faculty behave more like students than, than the students would behave. So I think three things that really I feel that have helped me is it's become interdisciplinary, it's intellectual, and of course it's international. So now there is no, no binding on that. 
However, going ahead, yes, the students are enjoying this a lot because there's a pressure. They have to stay at home. They have to do this. I think they will start missing the campus. They yeah. will want the interaction. Although we have started even a talent club uh, so that the students can bring in their talent and extracurricular activities also. So that's sure. going on side by side. But what we are going to do in future is this experience is now going to give us courage to have blended learning. Right. All this time we talked about blended learning, but we didn't, couldn't do it. Now it would be faculty could be anywhere and students could be anywhere, 30 to 40 percent, we would be having uh, online teaching and about 60 percent of uh, a camp on campus. So right. that is something now we've got courage and confidence to do that. Right. So it clearly has expanded the scope for the breadth of your of your courses. Like you mentioned, it doesn't have to be siloed. And this whole experience, this COVID-19 experience, I should say, has you know brought to light a fantastic new way of, of disseminating knowledge and being in touch with, uh, with your students. So, you know, I'm just going to say one thing here. I, I've always been inspired by one of the things that Mahatma Gandhi said. He right. actually converted at the time of our independence, our fight for independence, we knew we did not, we would never be able to match up with the British if we were to use arms and, and violence or anything. So he converted our weakness into a strength by saying non-violence. And I think that has always, always inspired me that every challenge can be converted into an opportunity. And I think for us, COVID-19 has given us that opportunity yeah. to try out technology, to try out digital education. And now the way ahead is for us to mix and match. Right. So, you know, a couple of months ago, even uh, we had a lot of educationists pushing for the whole study abroad uh, project or, you know, uh, that was that was on the platter and it was a roaring business. But here we are today. The situation has changed dramatically in such a short amount of time. And you have educationists today saying, look, I think uh, students should kind of, you know, study in India, find courses, find institutions because things are changing rapidly. So find the opportunity to study here in India. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? So I'm definitely a very, very strong believer of study in India. Uh, in fact, when we started these new five colleges of design management and all these new in institutions, one of the things I used to say at that time that, you know, the national goals given by our prime minister then were make in India, skill India, start up India, then why can't it be study in India? And why can we not create world-class institutions for study in India? And I think we've tried to do that. But I have to say that there are a large number of students. I'm also passionate about internationalization because it gives the students a very, very, very uh, new, broad, different perspective and ac academic experience. So, you know, in our institution, we started what was called two plus one. They could be here two years, go there for one year. They could do a master's, six, six months here, six months there. And then we have many partners who are doing this with us. Uh, however, currently now, if you look at it, I was just looking at some statistics. About 750,000 students go abroad every year to study. Wow. And they are in 90 countries. Right. And in that, and and so you know, a large number of students are worried. What do we do? We want to go abroad to study. We want to take this option. Some of them have got their dream universities, and they've got admission offers. How and what is going to happen in the future? So we've been talking to a large number of universities. We have partners in UK, USA, Australia. They're all saying, waiting, wait and watch. Will we open in October? Will we open in November? Some of them will say they'll open in January. But there's an interesting study that has come out from Harvard. Uh, this is from their School of Public Health, uh, which says that 
they will, you know, they feel that they will be practicing um, social distancing till 2022. And so it's going to be very, very difficult to now find out whether and and, you know, so therefore, what I tell the parents is, because a large number of parents are calling me, so yeah. I tell them that, first of all, you know, there are three things that you should think about if you're, if you're sending your students abroad to study. First is health and safety. Are you sa feeling safe with your students going abroad? Yes, the universities may take good care. Are you safe in class being with different nationalities? and nationalities who had very high COVID rates. Are you feeling right. safe about that? That's one of the things, the first thing, health and safety. A second thing that I would say is return on investment. If right. the universities are going to do the whole year as just uh, you know, online, is it worth it? Let them think about it, all right? A third thing is of course, academic experience. One goes there, for the international experience, for the, you know, today I, I always say that international universities, it's the class, the input, the, the students who bring in that experience and make the international universities diverse the way they are. So will, will they get that experience if they go there now and are, are, are asked to do social distancing? So I think these three, having said that, we in our institutions started looking at options that some of the students could do. The easiest option would be for someone who's got admission and says, okay, I'm deferring it to, and the university allows you to defer it by a year. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I would have said, okay, a gap year. But today, what is a gap year? Sitting at home, a gap year without a life experience, a gap year without skills, gap year without going out to work, that's not a gap year. So might as well do something for them. So we in our institution have created what is called a golden bridge. It's a one year program. If you want it to be one year, it could be a semester. If you want it to be a semester, we have looked at all the foundation courses, uh, foundation years around in most of the universities. They are very, very similar. You have business administration or business management, you have liberal arts, you have quantitative analysis, and you have data analytics, and you have media and communication. We right. put all this together and created a kind of a year one, and we're, we're sending this out to a large number of universities and also... I think today, if, I'm, if any, any of the listeners are listening, here's an opportunity for you to do the Golden Bridge and ask your university to accept these credits, or at least you have spent a gap year very, very effectively because okay. you would have online and campus experience. Right. Okay. I'm going to come back and chat with you about what our students can do in a lockdown, plus uh, get some more of uh, you know, your personal experiences with respect to Mumbai City you being the ex-sheriff. But before that, I've got to ask my Radio 1 listener and our viewer, uh, listen, we're, we are seeking your contribution to the PM Cares Fund. Please check down below uh, the QR code. You can uh, scan that or you can click on that link. It will take you uh, to a page where you've got to fill in your details and please donate generously. It's going to go a long, long way to helping our COVID-19 warriors who are at the front line. So coming back to you, Indu, and you being the ex-sheriff of Mumbai City, if you look around uh, Mumbai City today and see what's going on outside, uh, you know, how has that affected you personally? So the only way that I can look around outside and look around what's going around me is through, of course, all of you media who, you know, whatever we see on the television and what we hear on the radio. So from that, I think that Mum, you know, always I felt the spirit of Mumbai is great. It's amazing. They always come. Everybody comes to uh, brings 
their best to such a t- at such times because I was the sheriff at the time of 2611, and I know that it was I it was amazing to see how people just came out and and helped the city. I'm seeing a lot of that, of course, on the television. But I'm going to tell you a little more about this on what I'm seeing in my students, how much they are doing for the city. I'm going to give you some of the unique projects. I know a large number of students are collecting funds uh, or helping their parents, uh, are you know, helping their family businesses. to help the frontline um, you know people to uh, to help those who are not so privileged to you know to to give essentials to give give out food packets and the, a lot of stories of this but let me let me just tell you what other things they are doing there's a faculty member of mine in um in design school who has made about a thousand masks Wow. and and handmade masks which he has cut and made of course the, these would be used by anyone and anybody but except for medical so he's he's cutting up and if i send you a video of his and you'll see how he's cutting up those masks it's just outstanding so wow. he's you know it's been doing that uh, talking about design school first um young students are doing art therapy for their friends Okay. because i think today um you know you want students to be mentally feeling good and okay. so they are doing a lot of art th- therapy using simple materials at home keeping them occupied so many children right yeah. and they are out of school so they are working on it there's a young man who's from a design and innovation um school uh, who is the, who's created what is called a solo coin which is an app created completely virtually during the lockdown which tracks users location and rewards users for offering virtual by offering virtual coins for staying at home and participating in distance uh, uh, you know in in staying at home and keeping the distance and right. this this is helping the students to redeem their coins later with great brands and this is a app he has created all by himself a young man who's been tutored from one of from by one of our best faculty <laughs> this is the design school that's amazing uh other students are doing some amazing projects one of the students has started what's called the online quarantine games okay and he has collected 90000 uh, rupees to give out you know supplies to the frontliners Wow one of the other young men is working with Akshaya Patra and has raised 45 lakhs that's not uh-huh. a small amount at all and for okay. meals for migrant workers okay. uh, there are there are two of my boys who are parked at Sena Bhavan because they are helping the BMC actually with doing various things which will happen once the covid is lifted you know once the lockdown is lifted right. um, so you know it's amazing to see how, uh, one of the young students showed me a cabin that he has built with his father because they they are in that business for safety for doctors when they go into municipal hospitals so i think i'm 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 watching each and every day they keep sending me these experiences and i think our young people are amazing and right. because i think at at our schools we have and always even earlier at hr college i have believed very very strongly that education is about sensitizing young people that there's a world outside that is not so privileged right. and how can we help that's education for me right well as we wrap up uh, you know uh, let's get your message to the covid-19 warrior the person who's at the front line and the person who's battling this virus for you and me to be safe every single day so i would say first of all a big thank you to them because because of them we are all sitting very safely in our homes i i would like to say a big thank you not just because you know it's a uh, safety for us but they are actually risking their lives and i feel it's 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 a amazing sacrifice uh, i would also like to say to them that you know while we are at home we are praying for them 
and that we will see this through. You know, I don't know who has said it, but my students keep saying this every time they meet me and they call me up. They say, Corona Harega, India Jitega. <laughs> and, and the last word I would say is, after the crisis, the world will never be the same, but together we will make it better. Wow. That's a fabulous way to end this chat. Thank you so much for being part of 100 Hours, 100 Stars right here on the Fever Network on behalf of 94.3 Radio 1 in Dushani. Thank you so much. Thank you. And stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you.